When were your favorite kids' foods created? Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning! We are about to dive into 100 years of kids' food, but first, this portion of today's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. We've talked a lot about our experience with therapy on this show mm -hmm. and on our podcast. You know we are huge advocates of it. Yeah, a big part of my therapy journey this year has been working with someone who can help give me the tools I need to quiet my inner critic, mm -hmm. who can be quite loud. And you know, I initially went to therapy a few years ago because I was actually beginning to experience physical symptoms related to my stress, including a stress-related eye condition that affected my vision for months. Preach. And by simply beginning to acknowledge and talk about my stress with a professional, I experienced a huge positive change in my personal well-being. I also experienced a huge positive change in my well-being as a result of that. Yes. <laughs> when you started going mm -hmm. to therapy. I'm just saying. Therapy is my safe place to verbally process my inner thoughts, and I feel like that's something that virtually everybody can benefit from. You can get started today by visiting our link, betterhelp.com slash goodmythicalmorning to answer a few questions and get matched to a professional therapist that has years of experience helping people with struggles just like yours. And you can do it all from your computer, whether you prefer to chat by phone, video call, or even messaging. And sometimes finding the right therapist can take a little trial and error. With BetterHelp, you can search for the right therapist and try as many different therapists as you need without having to worry about who's in your network. Just fill out the questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you'll get matched with your therapist, usually in 48 hours or less. The therapists are all licensed and have been trained to give you helpful, unbiased advice, and signing up is easy. Let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can support you, all from the comfort of your home. Visit betterhelp.com slash goodmythicalmorning or choose Good Mythical Morning during sign up and enjoy a special discount on your first month. And thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Welcome to the last episode of Spring Break. Not counting tomorrow's Good Mythical Weekend, mm -hmm which is also technically the end of our spring break. Next week, we're back to our regular new episodes every day of the week routine, which coincidentally is the same schedule I would love to keep if I were a kid and chicken nuggets were on the menu. Uh, nice segue. Kids' foods are comforting, delicious, and simple. Mm -hmm. But do we know when these delightful foods first arrived on shelves? Mm -hmm. It's time for a Shuffle in Time Kids' Foods Edition. <laughs> Welcome to the Shuffle in Time Zone! Okay, players, under that cloche you will find a popular kid's food. After tasting it, you'll shuffle your pucks to the decade that you think it was first released. And Rhett, you're shuffling first since you won last time. <laughs> Shall we? Shuffling on over to- Oh my oh, gosh! What did I do? Ugh. Lunchables! Lunchables. Lunchables, the preeminent child experience. Are you trying to be the spokesman? They're not going to hire you if you talk like that. Get a Lunchable. That's the preeminent child experience. Scaring all the children. Now, how long has this ham, cracker, cheese, and Oreo plastic abomination been on the planet? Well, there's only one way to find out. That's when Stevie tells us. <laughs> did you, what did you eat, Rhett? I had a piece of ham. Okay. I'm going to eat a little cracker with Protein. Me. You know, if you make a choice, make a protein choice. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't make, don't make a cracker choice. We got some big juice boxes down there to shuffle today. Uh, Rhett's Fruit Juice and Link's Berry Blast. Mm -hmm. my, my, I remember it in the 90s. Now, when we were kids in the 80s, we lived in a little small town, and I do this logic quite often because I know that things didn't get to us. Oh, really? You know, we would always find out who was president after they'd already quit being president. Right. I didn't know guacamole existed until right. college. We were celebrating the moon landing, if you believe that happened, in the 80s. You know, we were behind on everything. I do own a cyber truck. <laughs> 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 So I think that if I remember it in the 90s, it came out in the 80s. <laughs> 80. He's going for the 80s. He's Slow overshot down. it. He's overshot Holy it. Holy moly, I'm close to 70. The board is fast this morning. <clears throat> Whew, I snagged it. I could have I could have hurt myself. Cheese is also a bit of a protein choice. 
I don't remember this because it didn't exist in the 80s, my friend. This is a 90s thing. Oh. I'm going to push you into the 40s to hold a firm grip on the 90s, but also hedge my bet with the 80s. Yeah. I mm -hmm. left the door open for you. So are you going to bump a root? The 80s was a wonderful time for kids. We didn't need a plasticified you know, compartmentalized experience. We didn't even need parents, really, if you think about it. We didn't need it. parents. All we needed was a bike. Right, a bike and just a just a roof. We didn't even need water. Just a roof over our head. I also didn't drink water no, until we need, college. We needed a water fountain, a bike, and a roof over our head. It didn't need to have walls. Uh-huh. Just a roof. No parents. And you could choose between shoes or socks. Right. I had one on each foot. That's what I did. Here we go. <laughs> Nestle, 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 nestle. Oh, that's that's gonna be weird if it's eighties. Uh, well, you're more in the eighties. I 80s. don't. Okay. Think no, no, I'm not. Eighties are up here. I don't oh, think you can lose. What is? I thought that was eighties. No, I don't think you can lose. No, I can't. Supposedly Ever. created to help Oscar Mayer sell more baloney, Lunchables went through a variety of name suggestions, the best being Smoothie Kabubbles before smoothie landing. Smoothie Kabubbles? <laughs> Not <Kabubbles>. buttholes. <laughs> Kabubbles. Bubbles. That, that's my imaginary Kabubbles. friend's name. Buttholes smoothie or Kabubbles? Bubbles is coming over today. <laughs> <laughs> Before landing on that tried and true name plastered in every kid's lunchbox since 1985. Yep, I was right. All right, I'll take I the win, right, but you were right verbally. The Bowie's Creek logic works every time. I was right physically. <laughs> oh. uh, nothing to see here. Perfect exchange. You. What happened? How did I we knew, know we were going to do that? I knew you were going to do it. I was just waiting for you to start. I knew you were going to do it. Yeah. So we both thought the other guy was going to do it, and we were like impersonating I each other? I was waiting for you to get back, and I shake, need you to do it. Shake it. Oh, crud. That is the mistake See, that you made. I, it was because I didn't find out about this until five years ago, because I'm from Bowie's Creek. This is a good I don't know how it works. Me shaking means I'm winning. I want to let you know, no matter what happens today, win or lose. Well, you're up first. I'm always a kid at heart. You're up first. Okay. I love, love this juice box of mine. Your logic here. You who, if you've never had it, let me try to explain it. Um, have you ever thought something was one thing and you start drinking it and then it's horrible? And then you realize, oh, I'm just drinking something different. Like when you go to pick up a tea and it's actually like somebody's like tobacco, tobacco juice. Yeah. 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 That's, it's like that. That's different. If you don't think it's chocolate milk, it's good. If you think it's chocolate milk, it ain't. And you will be disappointed. It's chocolate drink. It's chocolate drink. The rappers. But when is it from? <sighs> well, why you gotta ask me that? Maybe 1910. I mean, it deserves to have been around that, that long. That sounds about right. Go for that. I mean, it can't be. Could you have been around since the 60s? What about the 50s? I can, I can picture it being around for a while because they were like, well, milk's going to run out. That's what they thought back in the 50s. They thought everything was going to run out. Right. Yep. And eventually it will. We keep <laughs> I, thinking we're out of helium. I actually think it's the 50s. All right. I just have, and I, why? I don't know. I just yep. feel it. I just, feel, I just think it could have been around that long. All right, this is mine. Going for the tip of the spear here, plus a little bit. I think your answer is gonna be 60, so I'm gonna leave that open for you, because I think you're wrong. Oh, I went too hard. No, I didn't. I stopped, stop, 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 stop. Okay, maybe it's 30. What do you think it is? Hmm. Yoo-hoo! It has a very 70s, uh, like, vibe. But I think the processing of like, let's make a chocolate drink and put it in a box feels like a 50s, 60s thing. You've left both 50s and 60s open to me. Um, I'm tempting you. 70s is, should I just give you, should I just bump you a little bit and give you 70s? Mm -hmm. 
and then take 50s and 60s. Are you responding to me or are you just like passive listening? Guar gum. I think that's what makes it taste the way it does. That's my favorite band. Okay, I'm going to do a cute bump to try to seal off the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s. I hope you're mauled by a lion. <laughs> Yes! Exactly what I wanted to do, friends! Are you not Unless it's the 40s. Unless it's the 40s. The creator of Yoohoo, Natalie Olivieri, <laughs> figured out how to bottle a chocolate milk-esque beverage by boiling the product, jar and all, and gently shaking it during the boiling process, which allowed the milk to last longer. Uh-oh. Magical Yoohoo hit shelves all the way back in 1928. Oh, dang, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. I got lucky. I got lucky because I'm a gladiator. 1928. What a that? classic beverage. He boiled the whole bottle. Jar. He boiled the bottle. We have put all three of our classic epic rap battles onto one vinyl. That's the epic rap battle, of the original. Chew it, chew it, the chew epic it. rap battle of manliness. Chew it, chew epic it, rap chew battle it. geek versus nerd. Chew it, chew it, all chew on it. one vinyl. And then we've done three 2024 remixes. So you've got six total songs on this thing. The only way you can get it is by being a third degree monthly member of the Mythical Society. So join that uh, third degree by April 30th if you want to get this. Mythicalsociety.com for details. Woo! I'm a computer programmer and a cubicle dweller. I disable spell check because I'm a stellar speller. These are what I call nabs. nabs. Lance Toast Chi. Why do we call them nabs, and why do they not say nabs anywhere Because there? nab is short for Nabisco, which made the, these. But Lance made them. Mm-hmm. Lance is, has something to do with Nabisco, or this is a uh, ripoff of them, in you my opinion. You wouldn't think that putting peanut butter on a cheese cracker would be, like, the first option, but it is the best option. Uh-huh. uh-huh. So... You're going first, but we're tied, so oh. maybe I should go first. You should go first. That's good. I wanted another nab. I mean, if you has been around since 1920, these definitely feel old. What's the earliest on here? 1910? Mm-hmm. 1930s over there. Hmm. Hmm. Choose See, wisely, Seems that I got to make a choice. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like they're older. I feel like this is super classic, 1910. This is yours. Okay. Do you agree? I'm not going to say. Okay. Um, I'm just going to try to nestle right up on it, maybe a little bit on the 30 side of it. Oh, 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 stopped a little short, but you're going to have some. Oh. <laughs> well, that was almost cool. <laughs> uh, okay. To the part where you dropped it. So my, my mind is in the same place. Like the gutter. The gutter. That cheese cracker gutter. Basically, you could tell me it was 1910 something. You could tell me it was 1930. You could even say 40, and I would be like, that all makes sense to me. The move here is to bounce you, is to do a reverse bounce. I can't quite remember the rule about the reverse bounce. You can do it at this point. I can do it, but I can't bounce you off of the board. You can't, you can't. I can't bounce you past the top of the pyramid. If I do, you get to put me wherever you want and put you back where you are. I don't get to move you. I only get to move myself. Try it. You might like it. I don't know if you're right about that rule. If I bumped you, you really want to look at the rules. If I bumped you completely off of the board, wouldn't you? What would you do then? You just put yours wherever you wanted it. Mm-hmm. And then put yours back where it was is what you're saying. I'm not going to bump you completely off the board. I'm going to try to bump you. Just kind of like to the 80s. This is not going to be easy. And that way, I'll have 30 
for myself and the and the tens and the forties. Another complex bump. Am I gonna get lucky again? I don't know how this thing bounces. Uh. Here he goes. Nope. <laughs> Here he goes. Here we go. Oh, that's a hard gusto oh! of a bump. And I ah. love what has happened here today. We've all witnessed it. A it's failed reverse bump. I know that feeling. Uh, maybe it's 50s. <laughs> the OG brand of the peanut butter cheese sandwich, Lance, began when food broker Philip Lance got rid of 500 pounds of unwanted peanuts by doing everything from selling them in bags to turning them into peanut butter. His wife and children began spreading that peanut butter between cheese-flavored crackers, which led to the iconic snack being born in... 1915. Ah, oh, 15. Yes! <laughs> I was about to say, 15! <laughs> you scared me for a second. Dang it! Uh, failed bump. Ah. Failed bump. 1915. As we were standing here, I smelled something that I thought was a fart that came from you. It was. And I, <laughs> I, re I think it was under here. Uh, oh, yeah, it was. It was under there. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. Kid Cuisine Fart in a Box. What is this? This is uh, All-Star Nuggets. We burned the nuggets a little bit, y'all. Yeah, that nugget got a little... Got a little... <laughs> I think it's got some... Pla is it got some plastic on it now? Oh, it's chocolate, I guess. Oh, that's... Oh. What? That's a brownie with sprinkles. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got a lot of Mac. Uh, who wants chocolate on their nug? Nobody wants it. It just sometimes happens. Okay, corn. Mm. You trying to get one that doesn't have chocolate on it? I'm trying to decide if I want to eat a little bit with chocolate on it. I've never had a uh, fried chicken with chocolate on it. Link your up. Maybe I have. Whenever I say I've never had something. You're going into the trouble. last round of a four round game up two to one. You can't win which, unless. Which means I go second, but I cannot bump. And I have to guess it right and also be inside it completely. But I don't have to bounce it off the back because I'm not down 3-1 going That's into a right. five-round game. That's right. So we if have I complex can, rules. If I can be right now, there's nothing you can you do. You can box me out of the correct answer. Uh, Stevie, is this any kid's TV dinner or specifically a kid's cuisine? Kid cuisine. That that particular brand. Okay. They, they make multiple dishes. But and that is, brand. Right, can you read can aloud read, yes. what it says to me over there on it? Like, Where? how? What is the what is the verbiage underneath kid cuisine? Breaded, white meat, chicken patties. They don't even call them nuggets. Macaroni and cheese, corn, and a fudge brownie with celebration sprinkles. Apparently, birthday sprinkles were taken. Okay. Um, 14 grams of protein. All star. Hold on. It says all star nuggets here. I've heard it enough. It says patties here. Is it I've patties enough, or nuggets? Sir. Scan and play a basketball game. That's enough. Now scan and play. That's 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 recent technology. Well, well don't be don't be looking for for information. Celebrating our anniversary. Yeah, no, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> There's no information about when it was founded. Yeah, I'm kind of torn here because it seems like a more recent thing to have a kid's TV dinner. Maybe just you're distracted by all the colors. 70s, stuff. they came about. 80s, they hit their heyday like TV dinners. But just some for kids is something they would not have done they that didn't, early. They didn't give us anything in the 80s. I mean, this, this might be 2000s. Well, that's not on the board. Oh. Yeah, it might be 2000s. Try it. <laughs> try, try, try it. Okay, so let's see. I think this might be 90s then. That's the closest thing to it. That's as far as I can go. 90s, we've already done 80s. And seven, I, I just really think it's 1990. It's not healthy though. That's the thing that makes me torn. Oh, it's got celebration if sprinkles. If it was the 2010s, I think by then they were trying to make them healthy. These little sprinkles are like little tablets. All right, so I'm going for 1990, blocking you out for the win. And that was short, which is crappy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So crappy. Wow, the door is open. This is why I hate the children. The door is open. Like, why can't kids just eat what everybody else eats? Why do I got to have a special box? Wow, Link. 
What I thought was about to happen is you were going to land in 90 or get close to it. That's what I tried to do. And then I was going to be forced to go to 1970. And so I just made myself believe because I was being forced to go there that 1970 was the correct answer. But you Now me. all the possibilities are on the table again. It could be the 70s or the 90s. Make your choice. And I have you to have be to correct s- to win. And I'm a gladiator. <laughs> so you better get to it. You have to call it and land right in it. Oh, man. 70s looks like, you know what? I'm going with 70s, even though I think that 90s might be a slightly better guess, because I don't think I can land in the 90s. 70s seems like I have a better chance at landing completely circumscribed, because it's wider and it's a straight line. Yeah, I love that. Oh, see, you really feel strongly about the 90s, huh? (laughs) The gladiator got you with this mind games. (laughs) Okay. Boy, that is a tight window to get by to land in 90s. That is a tight window. Uh, I'm doing it. He's made it past, and he is squarely in the 90s. No! Uh, I mean, he but, didn't do but it. But I'm in, mostly in it. I'm mostly in this it. This is only for pride now. Hold on, but if I'm mostly in it. Like, nope, nope, nope. What? Not what Does it say completely circumscribed? <sighs> yes. At one time. Kid Cuisine had two mascots, a polar bear named The Chef and a penguin named BJ. Kid Cuisine replaced the duo with a singular mascot, an updated version of its penguin named KC. KC, a.k.a. Kid Cuisine, has been serving up happiness since 1990. Yeah. Oh. Red, it hurts, doesn't it, buddy? Well, but it's a tie. It's a tie, it right? Oh, it's really just a tie. Thought he could yeah. win. It's just a tie. I, I made him think he could win. Oh, we, yeah. It's just a tie. Here it's just a tie. We've tied. Lucas has a nice prize for you to share that is clear. What is this, clear? It's, it's a kid. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a... He's got a whoopee cushion for a brain. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and a yo-yo. What? I believe you take off the head of the part, the top? Yep. Well, maybe I believe incorrectly. Uh, no, oh. I, th- I think oh. you just, I think you can get the toys out of it. You can just get the toys out of the child's head. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's a very normal gift. This is actually, I think we both want this prize. Yeah, sorry about Now we're going to fight over it. I- I'm quite pleased with this. All right, thanks for a good spring break. Not only are we back to our normal schedule on Monday, but remember, Good Mythical Weekend happens tomorrow. That's so right. check that out. And thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is? I'm Jonathan. I'm Jessica. And I'm cartographer Jack. And we're Second Degree Mythical Society members. From Western Kentucky. And this is how we're surprising our son with tickets to the Good Mythical Tour. And getting to meet Stevie and Chase. And it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality. For real? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that's yes. awesome. That might be the best one. Oh, cartographer Jack. Woo. We will see you on tour. He's like, For real? <laughs> <laughs> Click the that top link to watch us compete in the peanut butter sandwich draft with Jordan from Sporks and Good Mythical More. And if I know what the women they got, they're gonna win. We're bringing all of our epic rap battles to final. Join the Mythical Society as a third degree member by April 30th to be eligible to receive this collectible as part of your membership. MythicalSociety.com.